Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sean the Buffalo video. And today we're going to be covering one of the more popular meta decks along with Abilities Art later on down the line and Mew Free Toolbox and things like that. Uh, so today, yeah, we're covering Malamar, and I feel like this has a really good standing in the meta. It has ability to snipe, ability to take out, uh, to put damage counters all over the board, uh, Kremer and V to follow up with something, uh, follow up with some knockouts later on, uh, Blacephalon on the 3 prize turn allows you to put 12 damage counters on the board which is really good along with the constant damage counters being put along the bench from uh, Distortion Door from Giratina and if I can find it our uh, very well known spell tag that allows us to put four damage counters on our opponent's Pokemon in any way we like. Obviously, uh, never make the mistake of attaching this to anything but a psychic Pokemon. Um, even Mew in itself not only protects you from the Picoron matchup but can spread a bit of damage counters itself. It sort of helps to balance out the, uh, the Obstagoon matchup, which is the more difficult one because most of your um, most of your attackers are basic Pokemon. Um, but the uh, the most two important Pokemon of this deck are Mimikyu, which is our Zashian killer, effectively. Which, if they're playing Metal Frying Pan, can be annoying, but hopefully will have spread damage counters from either Mew or uh, spell tags at that point anyway, sort of effectively nullifying the metal frying pan because uh, obviously we're not really bothered about the weakness that metal pra uh, frying pan protects them from because we don't play fire pokemon at all um, but yeah, copycat helps with return brave, brave blading a Zacian and taking knockouts and for a similar reason to improve the matchup against that deck as it is pretty much the most popular deck of the format is the clear viv vision of Latios. Now do not ever forget that Powerbind actually stops you from attacking if you've got less than four so you need four at least on the bench uh, which is something I've came across being a difficulty from time to time but there is enough de uh, basics in the deck to make the to make it work and obviously there's a uh, mysterious treasure and things. Uh, the one thing that my deck isn't playing that I kind of wish I had space for which I'm actually just going to make that inclusion right now. Um, I've sort of gone off the idea of recycle energy a little bit um, so I'm going to put in uh, right now one of those If I can find it. Great catches. There we go. Yeah, just to drag things off on, on the bench. I think a one of is all that's really necessary with having spread damage counters here, there and everywhere. But the deck's pretty much straightforward. Once you've set up your Malamar, Malamars, it's basically autopilot. So if you're new to the game, um, obviously a lot of players will have joined because the newly imposed shield and sword format. And this is one of the decks that's more easy to pick up and give you a, a better understanding of the game. So we're going straight into a game with the good old Malamar and personally in this deck as my opponents chose to go first I'm actually glad for that because this is one deck that unfortunately because of the evolution rule really you do usually want to go first but there's a lot of time and things that need doing with setting up and you definitely need to be able to use a draw supporter to set up a deck like this it's just one of those that once you get set up, you're fine, but going first doesn't usually give the opportunity to, since I, you um, do not play Dedene in this deck. 
it's just liability, you want to try and keep it as uh, minimal to one prize card attack as is possible. And this looks like an old, a very old matchup that I haven't played in a very long time, so uh, we'll have to see how this goes. I've not played against this in ages, and I don't know why for the life of me he's decided to go first with this deck. I mean, blah blah energy attachment and whatnot, but if he was against the mirror, then you'd just... Uh, Green's Exploration for the Wait and See Hammer. I will do a video on uh, Godward Sylveon at some point, but I've not updated the deck in a very long time. Oh, he's playing a Hooper. That's cool. Don't, don't know why he's doing all that. Faces and whatnot. Maybe he's uh, seen my videos. I'll give him a heart anyway. Uh, ah, perfect top deck of an NK. And because there is no spread in Dawn in this deck, I'm definitely not going to put, uh, put down Viridian. I will just grab this. I did this in the wrong order, but no, no matter. Um, Should be able to pull off a, f a fair bit of damage with with Mew. As I understand it, uh, yeah, because it's got 20 resistance, so 20 of the damage needs to go to this and this. What's th which one's that? Fairy Charm Psychic. That's fine. Um, so. Uh, always best, in my opinion, to grab another NK. Latios could be savage in this mirror match, but you'd have to like counter counter catcher and great catcher in the same turn. Um, so we'll go one, one, one. I do tend to play a little bit methodically, and uh, the reason why I'm spreading it out is because a lot of this version of the deck do tend to like to play one, at least one uh, copy of Great Potion. So the more that I spread it out, the less um, the less effective those Great Potion uh, Great Potions come overall. And as I was saying about the uh, Bridgian Forests, this is exactly why I didn't put that down. Because he could be discarding things that he'd prefer to see. I uh, prefer not to see in his deck, sorry, things like the Lightning uh, Fairy Charm that some players still play. Uh, because Pico Ram is obviously still a, a big threat. I don't know why he keeps under me, like, broken hearts and such. There's no need for a stealthy hood on that either. Just in case I pull out some random nine titles. A uh, stealth, stealthy hood does stop the Giratina from hitting it. So... What we'll do, because the prizes are kind of already on the board, which are this, this, and this, I'm hoping. I'm going to put these there. Um, this into play <coughs> so I can start the actual engine 
I'm very glad that's not an Absol. That made me very sad. And there we go. Perfect. Don't particularly want to lose the reset Sam, as it's the only one that I play, I'm pretty sure. I think I might just hold the hand for now, to be honest. Sorry, it's got its 20 on, so on this. So, uh, the reason why I've started uh, making a lot more of my YouTube channel and stuff like that is not just because we're all on lockdown and now I have the time to do it, but I just thought now is a better time than ever as everyone's on lockdown to start getting more people involved, uh, especially people in in the UK, uh, since other player base is generally quite small, or so it seems. But there again, it's hard for me to know because I don't live in one of the uh, one of the bigger cities where there's not a lot of venues to play this to play this game. Um, so 20 is already on that. So here, here, and here I think. Is Let's put three there. So as long as I can get another Malamala in play and a switch or a skateboard, which is totally fine. That is been achieved. Then we're back onto autopilot mode. Don't have a spot in my hand for next turn, so I should probably get that. Yeah, could have really done this. Oh, I do have a spot. Oh well. Oh well, fortunately it's not exactly magical miracle. But, uh, using the attack magical miracle for the full effect at the moment. One mistake that I always used to make with this deck was benching myself out, and that's something I outright <laughs> refuse to do nowadays. So I do my best to try and keep one bench space at all times, just to drop another surprise attacker and also bring back the Giratinas for any potential move that I might need to make. Especially the reason with that usually is Esper. Knocking those damage cards up a little bit more. <coughs> Alright, then it's probably thinking with the Collider Storm attack that this does, they get to move their own G any way they want, but they've got to sort of play a chess game against Malamar, sort of depending on what they think are going to be the numbers that I can hit for. Like I personally feel he should have moved another one to there. But there again, that, that forces him to have to use uh, Malu and Lana. Uh, but this turn, I am going to be hitting for 150 on that rather than the 130 that I'd usually hit with Giratina does come at the expense
of having to bench out. But it's not too much of an issue. That's going to have a damage here. And I think at this point I'm just going to have to take my two knockouts on these things. Um, I'm going to save as many switches as possible so we don't get me stuck at all for any turns. And there is my great capture as well. <coughs> so I'm not going to be needing Bridging Forest at all now as I've got two Malamars in play. I'll just hold an NK just in case. Um, it's probably bad. I should probably hold this to be honest. Spell the spell tags are literally what make this deck so oppressive and Giratina is just, just the one damage counter on, on Pokemon which obviously when they have to keep you fighting their way through it. Does eventually add up. <coughs> so, yeah, as I um, as I've mentioned in my previous videos and such, I am uh, happy to do viewer battles at any point, um, and I have been commenting on all the online groups of the Pokemon Trading Card Game on Facebook and whatnot, uh, with the aim of hopefully acquiring a more a competitive scene in real life of Pokemon Card Game overall in the UK and the reason why that is is so and the reason why I've been recruiting people is so people actually do practice more online I think he's gonna magical miracle me here. Yeah. <coughs> He's definitely made the optimal play there. Um, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I, th I think he's just um, missing like custom catches or great catches, whatever the case may be. Um, And fireworks bomb we go. Literally the best part of this deck is dropping 12 damage counters in your opponents. Three prize turn. Now the other six, I'm thinking, hmm, it's quite a difficult one. I think three on here and three on here. 
that basically means either of them can be KO'd by Mimikyu with copycat. It also means that Lugia's in range with now only having 120 health. Excuse me, I probably should have left that at 60 to be, to be perfectly honest. And imagine he's gonna lost Burgess now, but this is why I didn't have this by attached to that from hand. <coughs> and he's still not seeing any uh, uh, Green's Exploration all game, that's pretty much what's lost in this. Not seeing a Green's Exploration all game must be heartbreaking for him. Hence all the heartbreak signs. So if he's got a plan now, it would be double custom catcher on my Jirachi and Magical Miracle it and hope that it's enough to see me out the game. Oh, he'd also need switch, tag switch. Which, because he placed his energy wrong. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a definite misplay, so... I will at some point uh, do a video on God, War and Sylveon. Like, like I was saying before, but I will need to update it myself because I haven't looked over it since Sword and Shield came out. To be honest, it was my it was my favourite deck in the well, um, just come up to Cosmic Eclipse. And one thing I've not seen in this guy's uh, list so far, also. Uh, whereas the unidentified fossil, I, I run that in mine, it's just too good. So, we're not like, fiddle about. And just finish the game there. Yeah, well played there. Uh, also Jan. If that's a J, I hope it is. So, as I was mentioning earlier, I've been attempting to get myself some viewer battles and battles with other people online, uh, as, especially UK players and other UK content creators as well. And as I'm still on my Malamar video, I will be playing Malamar. <coughs> so we'll see what we're against. Um, I'm really hoping it's not Cat Dog, because like, I don't know if any of you know the Cat Dog, the Cat Dog deck. But it's um, it's quite a difficult deck to get around. Did I just click yes? Yeah, so I've just thrown everything out the window that I've ever talked about <laughs> and clicked yes to go in first. Ah, uh, well, you win some, you lose some. So, um, yeah, the the person who I'm playing against today, his YouTube channel is called Totally Dockers, and his channel will be in the description underneath, so you just press the button down there and you'll be able to find his channel as well, and have a look at the content that he does as well. Time to find out if we're against uh, Gengar or Mastar. I really hope we're not. 11 cases, we want to save as many 
our mysterious treasures for later. <coughs> So, uh, quick ball, just to grab some basics. All I want are in is in case at this point. Because the deck doesn't realistically need items to run off. I'm going to be losing a lot of supporters. So, I'm hope hopefully, it goes for something like uh, Green's Exploration. Again, it could just be plain straight Malamar, which it does appear to be some sort of meteor, UT Malamar deck list of some sort. Oh, I'm trying to attempt, attempt to drink that. It's ridiculously hot. Ah, good old Acrobike, I do miss playing that in Malamar Masala. I feel like, personally, if I was going to play, if I had those Acrobikes in, Acrobikes in my hand, I personally would have went for Acrobikes before Mysterious Treasure. <coughs> oh, it's got a bit of everything in this. Should have just put the energy on on that. But it's fine, I think. Somewhat. Um Yeah, deck place for switch. <coughs> and skateboards and all sorts. I'm really hoping he doesn't have a Marnie in hand here. Definitely an interesting deck, this. Horror House and the Mirror Match is a horrible thing to battle through, unfortunately. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we could get Mimikyu if we wanted to, just to hit this relatively hard for 2 damage. Uh, for two energy, sorry. Uh, we know he's got a Simpher in hand. It's reduced the likelihood that he has a supporter in hand. Evolve here. It's 
switch into Mimikyu. Psychic Recharge to the MK. Give me the uh, uh, ability to pivot next turn. And we'll see how many he's got. So that's a good 200 damage. There's two can play in that. Uh, two can play in that game, eh? The only thing missing from that knockout was a spell tag. A spell tag would have been so good there. <coughs> but missing from that attack, sorry. This is such a strange deck. What do we have going on here? What's this do? Switch one. Oh. So if you don't knock one knock one hit knockout it, then it's gonna be a pain. It's also weak to dark as well. How many switches he come through? Uh, right, so he's used four switch already. What do they use? Shadow Bind. Okay. <coughs> this is a hard one to figure it out. I don't know how I'm going to get around this. If I'm honest. It's quite, uh, quite unfortunate. So, let's have the second level queue down. a spell tag because I do have a general plan. <coughs> it's just somewhat annoying to try and pull off. I think it's just going to involve Mew. Mew is what we need. And of course Mew is prized. Oh no, Mew's in my hand so that's fine. Um, so Oops. We do want this at some point. I can't remember if I'm down Milana's fishing rod or not. Yeah, we are not. So we're fine, but we also, once again, because I'm clever, don't check if it's in deck or not. Let's check if that's in there. Because <coughs> that's vital for how this is going to play out. Because I, I need to. Right, so the Lana's fishing rod isn't in there, so it's, it's all about using the Mew. still got a few of my switches left myself, but that's what I primarily needed for this, for this play to work. So, I'll keep that in hand. So the idea is that I get 70 damage counters on this, get down to 150, <coughs> and then go down from there. 
I could even realistically um, just use the spell tag to knock out the Gengar Mimikyu on the bench. Uh, it does make it very, very good for the mirror match. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I can quite do this. <coughs> like, that gritty combat thing is really annoying. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we will just knock this out. It needs to be done. So making sure that I skip his boss after one turn. It's a, a strangely fun match, this though. I gotta say, we are no long, no longer going to use our uh, Lana's fishing rod yet. And I'm pretty sure that I won't be needing this anymore. All I want here is the a skateboard, finally. There we go. <coughs> so, with this, this should be the general route that I'm looking forward to sort of initiate some sort of checkmate scenario. on here and even if he uses even if he uses the great comeback on this it means it's still fireworks bottom turn so we can't really do anything about that <coughs> that's fine I can't remember if the Asper's in deck again <laughs> I don't think that was the right call. Unless he's got a mal on the wall. No, yeah, I don't think that. I think he might have um, done a sequencing wrong or something. I'm not entirely sure what. We definitely don't need Virgin anymore. I'll take that. Virgin Forest with this. Get out of the deck. Grab this. I need to make sure that I put four on that. I might even put just three. Uh, 
and I'm pretty sure that's game. There's no way you're getting around this now. His GX attack's been used, so it's not like you can use the Krasma. I'm just going to say if for the video, if he wants a best 2 or 3. Yeah, he's just sent me a message saying he did a, a misclick of some sort. Which I'd figured it was. Is he still on? Yeah. Wasn't, uh, it wasn't a misstep of sequencing that he did, he just misclicked. It happens to the best of us. Uh, me and myself have fell victim to that ridiculously countless amount of times. Hence why I'm not going to sit here and call myself a pro player. stuff he's got in hand. Oh, he does have more trainers. God, I, I was worried for a second there, because it usually groups all the items together. <coughs> so, if you excuse me a sec, I'm just going to ask him if he wants best of three or not. Yeah, the, um, in case anyone's wondering why he was, or had included the you know, Wobbuffet in his deck was apparently that Wobbuffet is the Obstagoon Killer, which is very interesting, um, because ob obviously ob uh, Obstruct prevents damage from basics. So, yeah, we are going to go for a round two, maybe even round three. Again, the link to his, his channel will be <coughs> in the description below. to delete so many decks off here. <laughs> ah, no, I've gone past it somewhere. There it is. Um, 
so we're going to start like this and give the direction and switch into it. I don't particularly mind getting rid of a spell tag here. Or do I? Yeah, I do mind. some damage. <coughs> so we now need to evolve that in K. Plan to switch the zone or a skateboard with the Megalo funny and set up his board even further. The thing is, if he, if he horror houses, I'm not particularly worried. So it will just mean more damage that I'll be using the side power next turn. And I'm totally fine with that. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just basically forcing him to uh, find these Malamars, which I'm not too worried about to be honest. Um, so we're going to go this for the Brinke. I'm totally fine with my board position so far. I don't think we're going to be using the Jirachis these games. <coughs> I will be getting a mount at some point because I'm using all that so. And it is the least efficient thing ever. And so we want to stick this to 50. And just put the last one on here. He um, physically can't research this turn. Because <coughs> it would uh, run the risk of our good friend Mimikyu taking knockouts. Speaking of the devil.
we go take out one of these. Very enjoyable. I haven't. Oh, it's a good thing I've found that now. Because the new and the Blitz Apollon combined was going to be helping me through this match. I'm thinking realistically that. Uh, Mimikyu will be a lot, will do more damage for this attack. I'm just thinning this through. It's it's going to be going back into the deck, I imagine. Well, if I find Cynthia, which is what I'm looking for, because I don't want to discard discard these draw supporters and things. Like having Viridian Forest out and having Jirachi out allows me to reshuffle my deck after Amani, Amani puts my supporters on the bottom of the deck. <coughs> and oh, what I could have really gone for this turn could have been a Tag Verge. Um, so, 100 damage wasn't was. Uh, Mister of such. I don't know why he benched this. It's a bit of a wasted spot, and all then space is very important in this deck. Fishing rod. Because it is next turn that he's going to be going into my Bless Athlon turn. With my plus F on turn, I very much want to get rid of that Latios to prevent him from using his plus F on turn. Or I could just go directly for the Gengar in the queue. Once again, because I'm a terrible prize checker, I forgot to see if my Gengar Mimikyu was in deck. Uh, not Gengar Mimikyu, sorry, my Esper. I think his plan of action, if he plays Mallow and Lana, would be to retreat into Gengar, Mallow and Lana, out of Gengar, get all that damage off it. 
but I do still have a way of getting him away from his Blasepho on turn because with the spell tag onto Latios with bringing back Giratina and the fireworks bomb I still get to knock out Latios and take him myself down to two prizes and therefore skipping his I see what he's done there and I'm not going to let him get away with it just because I've got the grammar out So, go for this, go for this, discard this. <clears throat> there was no way I was going to give him his plus F long turn, and I know that's what he really, really, really wanted. He's going to go down to two prizes now. No, likely. Because he should poltergeist here. I misplayed by keeping all these trainers in hand. Forgetting that he's um, playing the poltergeist there. Of sorts. Let's go on. <clears throat> he has no weakness going out of energy. Given me uh, a chance to not win the game. Well, not win this turn. I could have won this turn if I'd just not put the Mimikyu down. The last fishing rod got that back. And, but you never know what you're going to draw, so it's not really worth that risk. We're going to sell a wish anyway, just because we're not a bad player. Um, 
We're going to take this and not play it. I'm just going to keep it for next turn. Just in case I don't get the knockout. And copy that. Answer uh, three. Well, <laughs> six. What? How much damage is that? 600 damage. Seems good. Um, so, very well played, J Dockers. And yes, I, uh, I will definitely be posting the uh, video to you personally um, and tagging your YouTube channel in the description below as well so thank you very much for those games anyway they were uh, they were really good fun and you you very caught me off you, you really caught me off guard with the Boba Fett if I'm honest um, so anyway we're going to have some more matches so we're jumping back into once another match with Melmar Against Treebeard. I hope everyone gets the Lord of the Rings reference. Finally, going to be against ADPZ. That's what I'm looking forward to playing against. No, this is not a deck I'm looking forward to playing against. Just Trevnar, Trevnoir as a card. I do not enjoy that card. What it seems. The start is horrible. and the only great catcher, but I do not want to lose this lot of us, which I'm actually going to touch into. Mimikyu could be amazing in this matchup, well Mimikyu will be amazing in this matchup, but for now, we'll establish the Ah, well, would have had a 10 2 attack verge. Oh, it's altering the Crosma, like a Malamar deck box, it would seem. I don't know if I want to put the bigger in for Virgin Forest in play. Seems kind of risky. Um, well, that's perfect. Yeah, absolutely only one drop she's going in play. I do, uh, I do fancy my effort at taking out BMK. Well, amazing. Seems 
my opponent with this stuff. Probably has my armor on hands at the very least. Those mines are somewhat frustrating. Hmm. Other new team, Malamar. Toolbox thingy. <laughs> I don't know. Does this protect me from damage? Uh, it doesn't protect me from attacks. But with all those MVs on my deck, I'm thinking that I'm gonna quick ball to I'll grab and make my Q, but realistically I just wanna shuffle a deck. I wonder what he's gonna try and do here. What else? I guess I'm not shuffling my deck then. Um We will do this to shuffle my deck. Attack with the two energy. Those on guys are. So we'd need like switch and all sorts of madness. I think I'm gonna risk it and just uh, go clear vision. And then next turn, I'll. Um, Hopefully, attempt to dig for a switch and another Malamar. Wow, this deck's annoying. But that is, I think, it's only a second Marnie. I sort of drew a perfect dish from that. I think they're the, um, the most important thing of all. I probably should have done that second. as soon as possible. And um, we need to take the HP of this down and the HP of this. There's still one deck anyway. Yeah, there is, so that's fine. And I think his idea here would be that he'd 
uh, Pale Moon. As you'll probably realise that I've Clear Visioned. So he's taken this spell, this spell attack damage regardless. Let's put it on myself. I think the only saving grace for any opponent in regards to the Night Watch that is it doesn't discard the resources, thankfully, it actually just shuffles them back into the deck. This is um, proven to be somewhat a long game. Yeah, so uh, for anyone new to my channel, my videos, if you could drop a like down below or subscribe, well, and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely brilliant. I'd really appreciate it. so mad. But I imagine he's conserving Marnies anyway. Now let's just figure out I don't have a money, so I've got reset and uh, support is enhanced, which is brilliant. And it's fireworks bomb time. So won't rid of that. Um and honestly. <laughs> It's, uh, it's quite a difficult one, but I'm hitting for that for weakness, so I think that needs another one, definitely. Um, I'll leave that on 60 for Asper. I think the rest is... Just going on to Dene. What? Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to be taking knockouts in that turn. Uh, I'm fine with another Marnie here. <coughs> This is where I night watch him. Um, well, unless he gets rid of Mimikyu. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, and he shall be it. Oh, uh, yeah, so, won't rid of that. Uh, so that's 20 on there.
I do believe now, which is a good attack, and I'd like to use it myself. Thank you very much. The only problem I'm facing is I can't remember for the life of me if Mimikyu's in the death. Uh, not Mimikyu, Esper. But I suppose um, with this we shall find out. So here we'll get rid of this and find out if Esper's in the death. Which is not, of course. But we do have this. Ah, I realise I've misplayed a little bit. Well, I've not played this deck in a very long time, so... We do very much need to rip Mimikyu out the prize cards to have a, a straight win. So copycat for knockout and rip two cards out of his hand. That's fine with me. He also doesn't have a Malamar in play. Also fine with me. So he's not pulling any sneaky sneakies. Although Undoubtedly here. Yeah, I was gonna say we'd see some sort of offer supporter. <laughs> oh what am I talking about? Um he needs a pair of custom catchers or a Pokemon catch it to hit heads to, to win the game, but if not, then I win with Cramorant. Which is, this is clearly what he's attempting to mitigate now. But I've got game in hand. Just because I've got the switch. Probably realised that I've got the camera out on the bench and he's figuring out how, would, how to win the game. Also, yes, yes, I am winning. I am wearing even a Final Fantasy top, but unfortunately, I will not be getting Final Fantasy Seven as I don't own a PlayStation and they've made it. Console exclusive. How oh, very sad. But yes, uh, so that's another victory to Malamar. And that's all the games for today. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed watching. It's uh, It hasn't really changed much over the years. And I don't think it's going to change much in the future. Uh, maybe there'll be some testing of this with the Dracobolt V that's coming out. I'm not too sure. And... If you have any requests of decks that you'd like me to do videos on, I'm more than happy to do it. As long as you leave your requests in the comments, I will always reply to all, all the requests that are made of me. And any view battles, if anyone wants to add me on here, my username, as you'll have seen in the videos, is St. John. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. Ciao, guys.